Hey guys, so this is my 13 week bump date. Um, today I am 13 weeks and one day. Baby is about the size of a lemon, about three inches long, and um, almost a full ounce. So baby's growing quite a bit. Um, baby is, baby's head is becoming more proportionate with his body and um, it's about, I would say the head is about a third of the size of the body right now. Um, baby's nose and lips are fully formed. Baby's now swallowing and urinating amniotic fluid. Uh, the vocal cords are starting to develop now. Baby now has its own unique fingerprints. Um, which to me is really awesome because when I was a child, um, I just loved, or well, I just thought it was so cool that everybody had their own unique set of fingerprints. And now my baby has its own fingerprints, so that's just really cool. Um, baby's intestines have now moved from the umbilical cord into the belly. Um, and now, just an interesting fact and... A um, little bit of bragging. <laughs> um, all my apps are saying that baby will soon be able to suck its thumb. Well, my baby is already sucking its thumb. <laughs> um, I just thought it was funny because I kept reading, oh, it should soon be able to, should soon be able to, but um, I'll talk about this more in the doctor's appointment section, but um, during the ultrasound we did get catch baby sucking at some, which was so adorable. Um, so moving on to size of mommy, I am 139.4, a uh, total gain of 4.4 pounds um, since my pre-pregnancy weight. And I should start gaining about a pound a week now. So we will see if that happens. Um, belly is measuring at 31 inches. I think it had grown a little bit and then shrunk back down. Um, and then my my breasts are at 39 inches. Um, so they have thankfully stopped growing. <laughs> I thought that I was going to have to get another bra way too soon. So I'm just glad that I haven't grown out of my new bras. So they thankfully stopped growing. Um, as far as my development, um, I don't have too many changes right now, but I'm going to go over um, just a little bit of uh, tips that I read. Um, so a lot of the sites are saying that I'm entering my second trimester, whereas a lot of sites are saying that the second trimester does not begin until 14 weeks. So I'm right at that right at the edge and um, on my next bump date I will be in my second trimester so that's very exciting um, although part of me feels like it's just going by so fast and I just want to want to slow it down and cherish every moment because um, I've really enjoyed pregnancy so far I haven't had um, anything too horrible <laughs> happen um, based on what I've read and heard about, my first trimester was a very easy trimester. And um, if I'm supposed to be feeling even better in the second trimester, that's great because uh, I didn't really feel that bad in the first. <laughs> um, so as far as, um, oh, and I also read that stretch marks might begin in this, uh, trimester so or in the second trimester so um, what I'm gonna need you guys to do <laughs> is from now on when I show you my belly pay close attention to it let me know if I'm missing any stretch marks I do I do know that I have some like on the upper part of my hips just from puberty um, if you want to point those out that's fine but I do know that they're there so I'm mainly needing help y'all keep an eye on my belly <laughs> i'm gonna i'm trying to lotion it up and um keep it from 
getting any stretch marks, but I'm very prone to stretch marks, so I have a feeling that I'm not going to get out of this pregnancy without some mm, pretty decent stretch marks. So we will see. Um, also, um, this coming trimester, um, I should be experiencing some round ligament pains, and that's basically caused by the ligaments that are holding the uterus in place stretching because of the uterus growing and stretching them out. Um, I feel like I've had a little bit of those already, but nothing, nothing too terribly bad. Um, as far as my symptoms, um, nothing much, guys. Uh, um, the constipation has been better this week, um, but it's still a struggle. Um, one of you guys had actually mentioned trying prune juice and heating it up. So I actually, I looked for some prune juice when I was at Kroger a couple days ago and didn't see any. I just looked on the regular juice aisle, so I don't know if I need to look somewhere else. Um, but if I don't find any, I might just order some online because I really like juice anyways. And, um, you know, so that sounds like if that works, that's, that would be great for me because um, I really like juice, and I'm definitely still looking for something to help with the constipation. Um, as far as aversions, I don't really think I've had any food aversions. Um, I haven't been... I was a little bit hungry, hungrier at the beginning of this week, but I feel like that's kind of gone away. And um, just kind of back to normal, but I have been craving salads. So I've been eating a lot of salads. Um, in fact, that was dinner tonight. And soup and salad was a dinner last night. So definitely getting my fill of salads, which is great because that's got a lot of healthy stuff in it. Um, so moving on to the doctor's appointment section. Um, I did have two doctor's appointments since my last bump date. Uh, the first one was just a regular OB appointment, and that was on Tuesday. Um, that was just a real quick, um, you know, check up, how you doing. Um, we did listen to the baby's heart. Had a baby had a very nice, strong heartbeat. Um, I believe she said it was like 164 at the time. And um, that is just with their little handheld Doppler. Um, I did not get an ultrasound, which was really weird for me because I feel like, I think every other time that I've been to the doctor, I've had an ultrasound, but I knew I wasn't going to get one this time. So, um, but then Thursday, I had my screening with the maternal fetal medicine doctor, and that doctor is basically looking for um, birth defects. Um, anything that could be really wrong with the pregnancy and that appointment went great. Um, they do a measurement about the fluid in the back of the neck and um, anything, the doctor said anything over or below 2.5 is good and my baby's measurement was 1.3. Um, so they're not feeling like baby's at high risk for any kind of chromosomal abnormalities. Um, they checked everything on baby. Like, they they did an ultrasound, so they checked, like, the head. They looked at the brain. They looked at the hands, the fingers, the legs, each individual leg, the belly. They looked at everything, including the heart. The heart has four chambers. Um, the brain looks great. Everything looks like it's supposed to, so that was a huge relief. Um, I did get some blood work done, and the results of that have not come back yet, but I should have it back, um, I believe on Monday or Tuesday, um, because Monday is a holiday for some, but I don't know if it's a holiday for the doctor. So, uh, but either way, I should have the results Monday or Tuesday, and I'll let you know about those on my next bump date. Um, and then, like I said, that was the scan where we got to see the baby sucking his thumb, 
It was so adorable, you guys. Um, I don't know. I got a CD with all the pictures, um, little clips of movement, um, because that was another thing. Baby moved a lot, a lot. So I have a very active baby. Um, it did a lot of just like jumping movements, uh, moved his hands a lot. It even stretched. It was so cute. Oh. So um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to insert this. If I can't find a way to hook it up to this video, I might try to make a separate video of just the ultrasound clips and pictures and post that because it was really amazing. And um, But the problem is they're all on a CD and the only computer that I have is horrible. <laughs> so we finally got the pictures to pull up on the computer and now every time we try to email them or transfer them the computer shuts down. So it's like well I've got my stuff but um, I can't do anything with it so I might have to I don't know what to do maybe go to the library or something and email it to myself I don't know I do everything from from my phone pretty much um, because I don't have a computer that really works. <laughs> um, but I will see if I can get that worked out. But I don't know if it'll be if the if I'll be able to do that tonight. But we'll see. Um, as far as what I've been doing, it's been a really bad week for me as far as work. So I've just been working a lot and. Um, I've gotten really stressed out, so I'm trying really hard to not get stressed out, and so I'm just kind of trying to recoup from that, but I didn't get much done other than work. Um, I did go to Babies R Us and get a registry started, and I did go to Target and get a registry started. And I'll be having videos up for you guys shortly on um, the registry gifts that I got for for starting registries there. Um, but yeah, let me show you my belly. And you guys look for me for stretch marks, okay? I don't think I have any yet. And I don't know if I said this in the last video. I was thinking about this and pretty much made up my mind today that I am going to wear these pants, <laughs> or sorry, shirt down first, but I'm, I'm gonna wear these pants on um, bump dates from now on because number one, they're very comfortable, and number two, it's kind of a more accurate um, showing of how my belly's growing if I wear the same pants, so. Okay. There's that side. And the front. And the other side. Definitely a little bumpy there, but not too much. All right, guys. Um, so that is it for my third week, 13 week bump date. Um, if you if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it that would be wonderful um, don't forget to subscribe because I do this every week and I've started posting a little bit more in between um, and leave me a comment down below I love talking with you guys y'all are awesome and you always make my day and put a smile on my face so um, I will talk with you guys later bye